If you guys are trying to figure out how to do the curly afro, I'm gonna show you guys how I do mine and what works for me. Hey guys, so I'm back with another hair video. Shocker, right? Anyways, today I'm gonna be doing an updated curly hair routine. My 2021 curly hair routine. Oh, I'm in the wrong year. My 2022 curly hair routine. I'm gonna be doing it for you guys, and if you guys didn't know, I think I have a pretty solid routine this year. Like, I've been getting so many compliments on my hair these days. I don't know what's up, but the lighting is not giving. Anyways, I've been getting so many um, compliments on my curly hair. People have been asking me for the routine. People have been asking for the step-by-step -step process and I would say my routine is pretty different these days Like last year, okay, I don't know how to explain this But I feel like I use the same products or some of the same products I did like add in some new products and I'm still continuing to use the same products like some of the same products that I used last year But I feel like the method is a bit different and my hair just looks a lot different like if you watch my 2021 uh, curly hair routine it's a lot different these days I'm more into like the whole like afro kind of like curly puffy vibe I don't know I don't know how would have bruh I don't know how would you boing I can't talk I don't know how you would explain it but like here's a picture to show you guys like this is what I'm talking about I'm more into that this year last year I was like more into this this right here um it's still the vibe for some occasions but I don't know I just be looking like a baddie when I have my big puffy hair and obviously that's not the case for everyone because I know if you guys been here for a while you guys know that I had short hair I started my hair journey with my hair literally this long so I know how it feels to have short hair like there's some styles you can't do but today I'm just here to show you guys my curly hair routine I'm sure if you have curly hair you can implement some of the stuff that I'm gonna be showing you guys but it's gonna be a fun video of course if you have friends with curly hair and you think they need this routine hit them up send them this video okay before we get into the video I'm gonna be telling you guys like the layout so you guys know it's coming I'm gonna be going in the shower showing you guys my shower routine and then I'm gonna be coming out of the shower showing you guys what I do outside of the shower then I'm gonna be showing you guys like what am I saying <laughs> I can't speak English. I honestly can't speak English. I don't know why I'm struggling so much to speak right now. Okay, let me gather my thoughts. After I show you guys what I do when I come out of the shower, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I sleep with my hair because personally, I air dry my hair and that's like a big part of my routine. I haven't figured out like how to properly diffuse my hair in a way that I like because when I diffuse my hair, my curls are a bit more compressed and it's like more of an afro kind of vibe instead of like a curl afro so I'm still trying to like master the art of diffusing if you have any tips on how to diffuse let me know in the comments below also comment something for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps me I'm ready to show you guys my curly hair routine cuz it's sick show 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 Sure. And then I'm gonna be showing you guys tomorrow when I wake up after my hair is air dried What I do to my hair in the morning to get my big afro that I love doing this year for some reason It's because of the compliments low-key and I'm gonna keep it real with you guys like if you guys might Bruh, I literally can't talk today If you guys have like my type of hair if we share the same type of hair I need to show you guys how to do this because yeah, we all need to be looking fly I have gotten so many compliments in public when I wear my hair like this. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. This is my hair now. It honestly looks nice like this. Like I would go outside like this, but I'm gonna show you guys the back and you're gonna be like, yikes. Anyways, here's the back of my hair. Yikes. She's still a baddie though. It doesn't matter what state our hair is in. We're still gonna look fly. Like, let them know. You literally just have to have the baddie mindset. You don't even have to be a baddie for real. As long as you have the a baddie mindset you're a baddie she's a baddie okay i'm gonna shut the up and we're gonna head into the shower also like don't be weird i'm literally washing my hair if you're watching this video just because you know i'm gonna be in the shower you should click out this video because i'm literally wearing a sports bra let's not do all that okay so i start off with dry hair my hair is super flat but we're gonna fix that the first thing i do is i go in and i just completely drench my hair in water you guys could use cold water if like you're into that but personally i can't stand it and i clearly can't stand 
tired at all because I just fell. Anyways, I just go in with like warm water and I drench my hair. And then I go in with this Kerastase shampoo. And I love this shampoo because it's just the best. I showed you guys the wrong side, but here's the right side. I like to put my shampoo directly in my scalp and I don't like to like lather my hair in shampoo. I simply just put it on my scalp and I use my fingertips to like massage my scalp and really clean it out. Don't use your fingernails because that is just a bit too harsh for your scalp. This is me washing my hair out and I just let the shampoo run down my curls and that's enough to clean up the product buildup. Next, I go in with this detangling spray from Shea Moisture. It's a kid's detangling spray and I'm not sure if it does much, but hold up. My friend, she was like telling me some drama and I obviously had to like catch up and find out what was going on. Anyways, after that, I like went in with my shampoo. My bad guys, in the voiceover, I kept on saying shampoo, but it's very clearly conditioner and don't worry, um, I'm gonna be linking everything down below, so don't stress. I don't really know if the detangler does anything. Oh, I broke my shampoo. Anyways, I fixed it. I go in with the shampoo, it just gives my hair a ton of moisture and I'm also able to like detangle my hair when this product is in it because again it gives my hair a ton of moisture and like my hair just needs some moisture like that's how my curls thrive so if you guys didn't know when you're detangling your hair you have to start from the bottom and slowly work your way up so you can like fully brush it out don't start from the top because that's just like knots waiting to happen a disaster waiting to happen here's me trying to do some satisfying clips it was not working out anyways that's so embarrassing i washed the shampoo out of my hair or the conditioner out of my hair sorry and then i went in with this Kerastase hair mask I'll leave the links to everything down below because like I don't know the products off by heart but you could tell like ew ew uh, anyways, my forehead was looking large. I put on this towel after I washed out the mask. I don't leave it in for long. I just leave it for the extra moisture and let's get back into the video. Okay guys, so finally I'm out the shower. Well, I'm not actually out the shower because I'm technically still in the shower, but I'm done in the shower. I wrap my hair up in this towel or shirt. Anyways, I'm gonna let my hair dry a bit. And when I say a bit, I'm just gonna leave it in this towel for about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I use outside of the shower to moisturize my hair and to define my curls so that in the morning we have something to work with whatever you want to call it I'm honestly excited for the result I'm really excited to show you guys and I hope it works for you guys because it took me a while to figure out how to do this and it was kind of like a lot of trial and error so if I can show you guys what works for me then let's cross our fingers and hope that it works for you guys too because I don't want to be doing this for no reason like let me help the girls out please try it out because you never know if something's gonna work for you until you try it. I spent a lot of time watching like curly hair videos and not knowing if that product was gonna work in my hair, if that method was gonna work in my hair, but you really don't know until you try. Try things out. Obviously, like you don't have to try out every product you see a curly girl using. Literally, if you have products that work for you, maybe try my method, but with the products that you like, if that makes sense. Like when I'm doing my slicking videos on TikTok and I'm showing you guys tutorials on TikTok, I'm using products that work for me. I expect you guys to use products that work for you if you have 4c hair I don't expect you to use eco styler to slick your hair as simple as that take whatever information you can from this video and then go from there figure out what works for you because at the end of the day all of our hair is different like not everything's gonna work for everyone but I appreciate you guys watching and trying to learn new stuff from me because like I'm learning with you guys I've been doing this since I was 15 I'm 18 now and my hair has grown I've been able to show you guys like plenty of hair hairstyles, ways that I've been doing my hair throughout the years, my hair growth journey, all that crap, all that jazz. And I'm going to continue to produce these videos for you guys so you guys can understand your hair because I know firsthand how it can feel to not know how to do your curly hair. Like growing up and not having anyone in your life that can teach you how to do your curly hair. I know what that's like. So I'm just going to tell you guys everything that I know and we're going to learn together. Like this is a learning experience. I want all of us to just love our hair in its natural state. Like our hair shouldn't be an insecurity. Our hair shouldn't be something that we are ashamed of. Our hair is unique. Our hair is beautiful. People wish they had our hair and that's a literal fact. So don't think for a second that your hair isn't beautiful. I don't care what hair type you have. I don't care what hair porosity you have. Your hair is beautiful in its natural state. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And if anybody does tell you otherwise, you have to correct them. Sorry, I'm here telling you guys to start conflict. No, but deadass, you guys gotta correct them, ho. Cause then they will come correct. 
If you call somebody out for calling your hair nappy or whatever they want to call our curly hair, they will come correct next time and maybe they won't do it to the next person. So <laughs> if you take anything from this video, understand that you got to call them out. I'm just rambling like how did I get to like confronting people? Anyways, let me just let this dry for 10 minutes and then I'll be back and I probably won't be talking all this shit. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this part of the video fast, but I'm just gonna take this out of my hair and then I'm going to take I hate doing this like it's literally so embarrassing when your hair tie gets stuck and it gets stuck every time But it's still embarrassing every single time. I'll never get over that Anyways, this is how my hair looks and as you could tell it does not look good like this. We're not going out like this mm -mm. Not me not you not anyone. I'm joking still a baddie, but like look at the back Bruh. We're gonna fix that. Okay, I'm just like parting my hair down the middle, but not really like just parting it with my fingers Then I'm just gonna finger detangle and get my hair going in the direction that I'm wanting it to go in Which is both going down like this then I'm gonna take this shea moisture coconut and hibiscus hold and shine moisture mist And I'm gonna spray that throughout my hair I'm gonna be using a generous amount because my hair needs a lot of moisture. This isn't rocket science There is no method to it simply just spray your hair spray 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 front back side anywhere where your hair gets dry You're gonna want to spray also. I really want to be on Shea Moisture's PR list like Shea Moisture you're my favorite hair care brand like actually help a girl out Nah, but for real I love Shea Moisture. No cap. Okay. Now. I'm just gonna rub that in my hair with my fingers You know when your hands get stuck. I feel like we need to normalize doing curly hair around other people because I don't know about you guys but when I do my hair around people with straight hair I get so embarrassed cuz like I can't just like comb through my hair with my fingers like I'm yanking that I don't know about you guys but I I personally I steer away from doing my hair in front of people that have straight hair just because they get really confused and a lot of the times they don't really understand and they just automatically assume that our hair is like naughty or whatever there's just a different process this. Okay, I'm spraying some more in some areas that still feel dry. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. I just like embarrassed myself in these videos. Like how did I trip over my own feet? I don't even know what I was about to say. Embarrassing. Okay, now we're gonna take my favorite. Of course, you guys know. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Smoothie. And there's also a Strength and Restore Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. If your hair isn't as thick as mine, then I would recommend getting the leave-in conditioner as the consistency is a bit lighter. But if your hair is like mine or if it's thicker, then I would definitely recommend getting the Curl Smoothie. This product has no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no animal testing, and a bunch of other things that I can't pronounce but there's none of that. I'm just gonna take some and rub that throughout my hair. This is gonna give my hair a ton of moisture and it's also gonna define my curls. Again, you're gonna want to finger detangle and make sure you're really finger detangling because ooh, when you finger detangle properly, you add a bit more length. Like this isn't finger detangled with product and this is. You guys can't really see because my shirt's black but this side is way shorter. Now I'm gonna take a bit more product and put it at the back of my hair don't forget to put product in like the middle in the back of your hair because I did that for a long time and I still struggle with like the back of my hair being a bit more dry than the front but I also have a different like curl pattern at the back than I do at the front there's just a lot of reasons why my hair doesn't look good from the back but we're not gonna get into all of that we're just gonna try to make it look nice okay my curls look nice but they can look a bit nicer so I'm gonna be going in with a gel and the gel is gonna define the curl a lot more than the leave-in conditioner does gel also helps with frizz so in the morning we won't be seeing too much frizz but obviously we're still gonna see a bit of frizz like I don't know about you guys but personally I can't escape the frizz I do everything I can to like try to avoid it but she I can't escape the frizz bro okay so I like to use the main choice the alpha aka crystal orchid biotin infused styling gel so I was a bit skeptical about this product at first because when I like put my hands in 
it, it was super sticky, but when I applied it in my hair, it wasn't feeling sticky anymore. So yeah. Also, I noticed that this defines my curls a lot more than most gels that I've used in my hair, but this is a very thick gel. So depending on your hair porosity, this might or might not work in your hair. But personally, this has been a lifesaver for me because my curls don't like to hold. They like to get really frizzy and this has like changed my curly hair routine, not gonna lie. This is how the product looks and it is really sticky, but I have no problems once I apply it in my hair and it runs really smoothly in my hair as well. It does have a strong hold on defining my curls, but I wouldn't use this as a styling gel. And when I say styling gel, I mean like for slicking, like this kind of styling is okay. I'm taking some more and doing the other side. You don't wanna use too much because since it is very thick, it could also weigh down your curls and you don't want to weigh down your curls because then it will kind of look like straight pieces and then it's just gonna look like you have damaged parts when really it's just your hair weighed down by the product you're using. Always start with less and then go in with more as needed. Putting some more at the ends here so that when my hair is in like a puffy afro my curls are still kind of defined and that's about it. So right now I'm just gonna like put my hair to the front like this because I I personally like to have bangs when my hair is dry. Don't worry, my bangs dry up here when my hair is all dry. I do get a lot of shrinkage, but I kind of mastered the art of stretching out my hair. Okay, I'm flipping my hair up. I'm taking two hair ties and I'm just gonna do a bun, a regular bun like this. And you can sleep on a silk pillowcase. You can sleep with a bonnet on. Um, if you want less frizz, definitely sleep with a bonnet on. I'm just gonna go to bed like this because I can't be bothered to put on a bonnet if I'm gonna be 100% real. Also, you're gonna have to wash your hands after you use that main choice, the Alpha Styling Gel, because like I said before, it is really sticky. My hands feel gross. Wait, I almost forgot. This is actually the final step until tomorrow when we wake up or when I wake up. I use this hair and body mist and I like to spray it in my hair a bit just because I don't know about you guys, but I don't always love the smell of of the products that I use like that's just it like especially mixing the different smells like sometimes my hair just doesn't smell the best because we have limited options of what we can work with you know what I mean so like even if the product smells bad I have to use it but mixing them together it just gives it an awkward smell so I like to spray this and this kind of masks the smell of the other products so I do this and that's about it. I will see you guys when I wake up and we'll style my hair together and hopefully it turns out well. If it doesn't, yikes. I just woke up. That sprayed deodorant because I don't know about you guys, but doing my hair is a workout, so I don't wanna be sweating and stuff. Jeez, I'm so tired. Okay, so now we're gonna take out my hair and we're gonna see what we're working with. Uh, take it out, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Okay, so the only problem is my hair didn't completely dry, but that's okay, that's okay. The reason that I'm a bit upset that my hair didn't fully dry is because I like to stretch out my hair and I find that if you stretch out your hair when it's not fully dry it just kind of makes it frizzy and it doesn't stretch as well but now I'm just separating my curls because they were in a bun all night so they were like stuck together so now I'm just doing that look how easy that is we're not done though you guys already seen me use this product before but again we're gonna go in with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and shine mist and this just gives my hair some added moisture and I love it. Just a bit though because we don't want our hair soaking wet because we don't want to ruin the volume we have right now. Don't really rub it in, just do this. I don't really know how to explain that. But now you're gonna take your pick and if you're buying a pick, make sure you buy the metal ones. Don't buy the plastic ones because if your hair is like mine, it's just gonna end up breaking in your hair and I don't want you guys wasting your money, so let's not do that. These ones can break, but they're still stronger than the plastic ones. What I like to do is I will take the pick and I will just do that and I stop here so that I still have the curl here. Like it's not brushing out the curl completely. This is like how I stretch my curls because these are underneath so they're not really gonna be seen. So I like to do that throughout my hair.
And as easy as that, we have a full afro. My curls are super defined and we still have a ton of definition. And honestly, that's everything I look for in my curly hair routine to each their own. Not everyone likes the big full look. Some people rather like flat and really defined curls. That's the wave I was on until my hair got a bit longer. But if your hair is anything like mine, I hope you could take something from this video. And if your hair is completely different from mine, I hope that you are still able to take something from this video. You guys seen me use this before, but I like to just spray that again and your hair will smell so nice. But that's about it for my 2022 curly hair routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please comment something down below for the YouTube algorithm. It can literally be something random. It just helps me out a lot. Thank you to those who stayed to the end. And for my new subscribers, hey, love you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. It honestly means the world. But if you guys are new, we don't say bye. We say peace. So peace on the streets. Your girl wants me. I'll see you guys when I see you. Comment peace down below.